Good morning, it is Thursday, April 28th. My name is Eric, I'm from ReliableResellers.net and thanks a lot for coming back to another video. We are heading out to the auction house. We're gonna go out there and get ourselves set up. We haven't been out, well, you guys haven't. I've been out there every week, but I haven't brought you guys back out with me to the auction house in quite a while. So let's go out to the auction house, let's get ourselves set up, and then we're gonna go on a private pick this afternoon to go see Steven. Steven called us up. We met him several months ago. It was last year, actually, when we first met him. And he has a whole bunch of toys for sale. Uh, Ninja Turtles and Ghostbusters and lots of Marvel stuff and all kinds of stuff from what he says. So we're gonna go over, we're gonna meet him and see what all these toys are he's got for sale. Real quick announcement. <clears throat> I did move all of the podcast stuff over to a separate YouTube channel. I've created my own website for it, taobpodcast.com, if you're interested. I just uh, published episode number five yesterday. So we've got five episodes of the podcast up and running. The response has been amazing. So um, the podcast is starting to take off. I've had the podcast up now for about a month. It's been exactly 30 days. And I've had, five, as of this morning, 585 downloads of the podcast. I think that's pretty amazing. I have no real numbers to compare it to, but I think that's pretty high. Anyway, it's like 20 downloads a day. It's pretty good, I think. Anyway, so let's go, to the, go out to the auction house. Let's get set up and let's go on a private pick. Let's go. There's the auction house tree. Haven't seen that gone a little bit. It is starting to thin out at the auction house in terms of vendors. There's only one, two, three, four cars waiting. There's, in the last few months, the line's been all the way back here where I'm at right now. Right now it is 8.52. They open at nine for vendors and there's only four cars up there. So yeah, it's starting to die down a little bit. That's all right, let's go get set up. All right, we're all set up. Let me show you what we have this week. So here's one table. This is our front table. So up here we've got some train stuff. Nothing too crazy, but just some, some train stuff. We've got some, some movie posters. Uh, this is probably the best one. It's a Star Wars poster, but it's ripped up. So it's, um, it's in kind of rough shape. Got some silver plated stuff. Nothing too crazy, just silver plate. Here's four autographed baseballs. I'm not really sure who they're autographed by. There are no COAs. So we're just going to put them out here and see what they do. Um, here are some dolls. A uh, lot of the Raggedy Ann stuff and then just some random other dolls that we picked up. Here's some Michael Jordan Funko Pops. One small one, one big one, one small one. Here's a Jordan basketball. And then here's what we have left of the Barbies we picked up relatively recently. So we've got the last of the Barbies. We've got one flat here of comic books. And then we've got some M2 machines and cars. And then a few Coca-Cola things. This is the stuff that mom said she didn't want. So we're bringing this out here and everything else she gets. I'll bring you over here and show you. We brought some signs this week. We've got some jewelry and stuff with Deb, but I've already given it to her, so I can't really show it to you. But these signs are us here. So we got this one here, got the Bud Light, the Corona, we've got the Heineken bottle, and then we have the two Land Shark signs. And then I'll bring you up front here. Oh, we also have this here. This is us, Samuel Adams guy that's hanging. That too. <laughs> and then up front we've got this poster here in a nice frame we've got this here not really sure what it is like a screen i guess we've got the my goodness my guinness poster here and then we've got this guinness drought mirror right here that's what we've got all right now now let's go look about buying a whole bunch of toys. Let's go driving to Tampa and let's go on a private pick. Let's go. If you wanna 
Okay. Um, just got my camera here. Yeah, so there you go. Make it Shoot easier. a little video. That's even easier. Yeah. Yeah, those Ghostbuster items, when when those pop up, uh huh, those guys are. I, I mean, they're not crazy, but they're all, you know, 100 bucks a piece uh, or more they? When, okay. they go, when they pop up. Okay. Yeah, they're they're pretty nice items to put out there. And there's a stack of the older board games. Okay, awesome. All right. Let's see... So how many toys do you think you have, roughly? I mean, if you were if you were gonna guess, just you know, with the how many bins you have of just the the factory sealed. Um... Wow, that is a great question. I just don't. I don't know that I've got a good um, number in mind for that. Uh, All right. Well, we bought those two um, big teenage. There's four foot tall. They're in the back. Uh, four foot tall teenage mutant ninja turtles. This this might turn out to be a really good lead. This guy has so much really good stuff. You guys just seen a piece of what he had in his living room. I'll pull out the ninja turtles and show you these guys. He has so much more ninja turtle stuff and Ghostbuster stuff and Marvel stuff. Migos from the from the seventies and so forth. This might be a really good lead. But uh, let me show you the turtles. Give me one second. Aren't these things just the coolest little guys you've ever seen in your damn life? I'm thinking about keeping these things. They're they're four foot tall, and they're just badass. I mean, I don't know what it is about them, but they're just badass. They're they're I've already said it. They're four four foot tall, teenage mutant ninja turtles, Jack Pacific. They're not super old or anything. They're about a hundred dollars a piece over on eBay. They'd be a pain in the butt to ship. I'm not. I'm not going to put them on eBay. You know, they they'd be perfect for the auction house. But I don't know if I want to sell them. <laughs> they're cool. Look at them. Check them out. Aren't they cool? Look at these little dudes. Michelangelo. He's got his nunchucks. Leonardo's got his. Got his swords. Their little shells they're freaking cool anyway this is what we got we paid 50 bucks for the pair uh, 25 bucks a piece really really reasonable price that really has me excited because <clears throat> with all the toys that this guy that this guy has if, if his prices are going to be as reasonable as it was for these guys man this could be a huge deal for us this could be a huge deal anyway really really quick video um scored a couple cool ninja turtles anyway like comment subscribe all the youtube stuff down below if you want to come back tomorrow we'll do something else bye y'all